Hey, this is Rich Knapp with uh, Common Joe Flyer Videos, and uh, I would like to introduce you to Matt Matt Kramer. We're gonna do a, a DIY DIY on uh, doing a night flyer oxy. Matt's gonna cover. I I just kind of helped him out. He did the very first one. We both came up with the idea, but he did his first. And uh, he's the one that, you know, masterminded getting the uh, parts, um, the process we go through, things of that nature. So he's going to be going through, and I'll just kind of mention things as he goes along. Um, but he's the, he's the brainchild of this. So this is Matt Kramer, and he's also a uh, uh, Lynx and Oxy uh, rep and pilot. So, Matt. Take it away. Well, guys, thanks. Uh, thanks for Rich Knapp for bringing me in. And we're going to discuss one of the very unique projects, like you said, Night Oxy Flyer. And uh, night flying in general is a lot of fun. Uh, opens up more hours to fly. And uh, really, it shows up a lot better at night. Some of you may have seen the videos we've already posted. The canopy and the, uh, the helicopter are actually the easy part. These are pretty much off-the-shelf stock uh, waterproof LED strips that run off of uh, 12 volts, so we're using a, a three cell LiPo, or you can tie it into your flight pack. Um, there's a multiple ways to do that. Uh, but the hard part we found, and the parts not commercially available, are the night blades. Um, and we're gonna go through, that's what this video is gonna be mostly about, is setting up night blades, how to power them, and what supplies you need. Um, once you get into larger helicopters, there are commercial products available, but the 255 size and the 285 size, we found it real hard to procure. So. And if you don't have steady hands, you find somebody with steady hands. So we're going to see some of the soldering pictures and some of the components we use later on. But just as a quick overview, we're using uh, surface mount um, LEDs, um, SMD, I believe they're uh, 06, um, we'll get you the number later. And then uh, 1206 resistors to make the LEDs work with the forward feed voltage. And uh, Rich will have some links on the videos to the calculators we'll use, and um, as well as some of the places we purchase them. Um, most easiest place to buy the LEDs, the single LEDs and resistors right now are Amazon.com or if you can find a like uh, specialty uh, electronic supply store. Um, we'll get you the numbers of those, you can look them up. Um, we're using common uh, 1S LiPo batteries that you would see on uh, MCPX or yeah. a Nano to power the blades. And uh, about 125 milliamp or maybe a little smaller, you can find some 75 milliamp ones to save a little weight are yeah. about perfect. And we were getting what uh, about ooh, minimum three flights out of the 125s. We, we, we've seen um, so far. My testing has shown I can get uh, four, possibly five flights before you start seeing the battery voltage drop to the point where you'll notice it on the LEDs. Uh, the thing there is that with the circuit we have, there is no low voltage protection, so you definitely kind of want to figure out where your limit is um, and charge your batteries up prior to overflying. You know, dropping them below about 3.4 volts per cell. So on the blades. Yeah, so you start seeing your lights get dim, you might want to not push for another flight. Yep, yeah. but uh, yeah. four flights is plenty, and night flying actually is, um, first few flights are a little nerve-wracking, so we take some breaks in between, and we'll uh, we'll show you some video and uh, some links for that later. Yeah, and we're working on some stuff as a team that we're going to be working on. Uh, right now it's winter here in Wisconsin, but this spring we're kind of working on some stuff as a team that we're going to be doing for night flying. And it should be a very interesting year. Keep an eye out for some of the videos of the night flying of our oxys. So, okay, well, let's get into it. Again, uh, down there in the description, you'll see some links for uh, where he got the parts, where, uh, you know, the calculators, like you were saying, all the stuff, the information you're going to need for this project, as much information as we have that we can share, it be down there in the description of the video. So, okay, let's dig down and get into it. All right. 